so part four of my educational history, just to give a good clarification, you know, for anybody that doesn't have an understanding of pretty much where I get as much audacity as I get. All right. So imagine to go ahead and avoid false allegations, to avoid any type of uh, potentially scandalous type circumstances, you know, the amount of conflict that there has been, ironically enough, has been because of the factor that in every single way, shape, and form, as far as, uh, you know, being told knowledge is power, and when it comes down to, you know, getting a good education, I have surpassed not only my birth givers, but also every single member of my family, all right? Ironically enough, when it comes down to machine operation, you know, and uh, also maintenance, I already got that fully understood. So, I mean, literally, if you got with your personal vessel, if you got an issue with your boat, you could hit me up and I might feel like helping. But also understand something. You know, that whole, you know, you get to go ahead and choose what the, uh, you know, the value of your uh, knowledge is. Remember how that worked out before? Yeah. I remember. I've been slighted by it quite a few times. You know, and the funniest part is, too, I've come to realize that most people my age feels like there's not a lot that actually know how to drive manual. So imagine people going ahead to trying to be like, oh, I don't even go ahead and believe that the person knows how to drive at all. You know, clearly the person is a negligent driver, you know, because of the factor that I feel like that's how they would end up driving, but I'm not even willing to get into the vehicle with them. Okay, let me tell you a story of how I learned how to drive. The vehicle was a 1982 Dodge Ram, I believe it is. But uh, it was a, man a column shift manual, all right? So I still remember I ended up asking, like, hey, okay, before <laughs> everything gets crazy, can you teach me how to drive? Because mom's clarified she's a horrible passenger. It's like, well, my car is a manual, so... It's going to be a little bit more difficult. I'm like, I didn't ask if the, if you teaching me was going to be as expert difficulty. Expert difficulty. I asked if you could teach me. It's like your funeral. Okay, cool. So I ended up going ahead, pointing out the exact, uh, you know, spe uh, specifications of the vehicle. I'm like, okay, clutch to brake. You know, um, out, two down, one forward. All right, reverse. You know, foot off the brake, foot staying on the clutch, going ahead, just tapping the gas pedal just a tiny little bit, you know, to go ahead and roll back, turn the steering wheel towards the right to go ahead and, uh, you know, get the reversal back towards the left. Okay, straighten out the wheel. All right, so then, you know, back in, down two, out. Okay, so that right there is first shift between 25 to 35. All right, made sure no open show to, uh, open toed sandals or shoes are being worn while actually driving shift. Go ahead, foot on the clutch, you know, I'll go ahead and ease on the gas. All right, so you're going to make sure between the, you know, 25 to 35 miles per hour, that's going to be the point where you're going to go ahead and shift from first to second. When you go to ahead and do that, you're going to make sure that you, you know, ease off the clutch while simultaneously hitting the brake because you're going to brake when you go to shift in the second, which is pull, it, you know, inward, down, outward, one. All right, so 35 to, you know, 55 to 60 that point's going to be second, all right? So legally, there's no highway that's going to be over 80 miles per hour. So understand that's the only way you're going to even go ahead and shift to the third. All right. 
So what do you do when you're going to go ahead and shift? You make sure ease off the gas, ease on the brake, foot on the clutch, pop into place, towards you, down one, out, gas again. So the funny thing is, while people talk about how manual transmissions are, uh, you know, a security device nowadays, it's like, <laughs> bet me a gas card in a manual, you know, manual transmission vehicle. Be like, I like those odds.